And another thing is too, you know, I say now, say New Year's, you know, say after Christmas, New oh, Year's yeah, Day. Oh yeah, New Year's Day. There, there were some people that wouldn't want a woman going in first into the house. Oh no, to be a black-haired man. Have to be a man. And they wouldn't want a red-haired woman. A red-haired woman. And if you met a red-haired woman or a red-haired man, you red-haired turn, woman, I think, woman, you'd have no look. You'd turn back from the, <laughs> they'd turn back from the fair if they were going at, got yeah. up at six o'clock in the morning and yeah. they met a red-haired woman that yeah. drive the kettle back. That's right. Oh, my mother was afraid of a life of Robin, and I'm got to be good one. Aye. If a robin come into the house, she'd lose her life. It was a bad sign. Bad wasn't sign, it? yeah. She, yeah. she had an offer for you, robin. Aye. No other bird. She might not have the bird. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have a death now. That's, that's, yeah, did you see uh, maybe Something would have happened. Yeah, it was handed down. A robin yeah. came in. Yeah. Yeah, and she hopped around the table. That was. Yeah. Yeah. She had, an, she had an honest to God now, and I couldn't. She was pretty funny for robin. And some people hated a frog coming into the house. That's Other right. people hated. The hate sign her. of rain, too. No, the sign of death. Is it? Yeah. Or a robin. When the robin, I don't know, but down our west yeah. was a frog. Yeah, a robin, a power way. On the open fire, that's another thing. If a coal fell backwards, oh, uh, that was a visitor coming. Mm. Yeah, that's the and old the, people the, like that. And if the fire kind of sparkled out and you said there were money, money, money was coming money, to you. Money or fight. Money. Money. I heard. There was yeah. fight too put into it, which wasn't good. <laughs> yeah. That mm. was now about the coal. Mm. The jokes then as well, you know, if there was squeaking and screeching and everything. That was a visitor that should become it. Oh. They had that going on, the old mm, people. Mm, as well, mm, if you heard the jokes. Mm-hmm. Oh, there'd be some uncommon, they'd say. It's a, a cock crow three times. That was when our arm was dying, Jim. What? That was when... <laughs> no, but that's what they were saying. If, a cry, if you hear a cock three times. Remember, our Lord heard that la- the, 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 the person on the way out, them dying. Oh, yeah, it was... There's some terrible yarns years ago. Of course, we were all so innocent. We thought I took it in. We're, we're really... But nowadays, the young people wouldn't, be, wouldn't swallow things like oh, that. Oh, they're too cute. Now. Oh, they're too cute. I heard that the, the boat was... Uh, the boat was uh, crying at her window on it. Yeah. And she was combing her hair, sitting on this window. Big, long hair Big down long to her back, down on her back. And this fella couldn't listen right along on it. We'd hand out in the window and he gripped the comb. Yeah. And she roared and she bawled for four or five enough. nights anyway, and someone made this man go to the priest to see what would he do. Yeah. So I went to the priest anyway, and the priest said, hand her back to home, but hand her back with the fire tongs. <laughs> yeah. Because she'd naturally take the arm off you. So eventually he did, and she broke the tongs across in the middle. <laughs> so he was lucky to escape with his arm. She was savage. Yeah. Savage. savage. Yeah. I heard a story about the boat one thing. This fella. He's dead now. He's dead a good few years. He was a great old character. He said that the bow used to come every Friday night to his back window and she'd ball away there. And she'd be combing the long hair, he said. And he said, I, I, I opened the window this night. He said I was fed up with her. And I put up my hand quick, he says, to take the comb off her. And the four fingers, he said, bled for three days from the way she scratched his hand. So he said the nails must have been a foot long on her. Whether they were or not, I don't know, but he had that story. He believed in it, so I was young at the time. I had to believe in it too. Whether it ever happened or not, I don't know. There was a dance hall in Turin, and uh, there was another dance hall not very far away from yeah, that's, here. That's right. And uh, the, all the people seemed to be going to Turin, but the one that owned the dance hall locally didn't like that, so they got somebody to dress up yeah. as the devil and appeared at the dance hall. Yeah, and he brought a girl out dancing, and she saw the queer feet. Yeah. <laughs> and that finished the hall near like it did. It did, yeah. To mm. in dance hall. Yeah. yeah. Near Valley Harness. Yeah. But there was a woman in Edinburgh years ago now, but there was a yarner, but I, I think it was true. There was a, a parish priest called Father Tierney. And he was this woman used to every night was rattling yeah, yeah, yeah. buying tins rattling in the room, basins rattling, doors buying. This was going on for about three months. So yeah. they got that's Father Tierney would he bless the house, come down and see what he get the spurs. So <laughs> Father <laughs> Father Tierney came down. He did a hard job. He did, it was a terrible as you say uh, he, he backed into the house. Yeah. The, the spurs. He said the, oh the spurs was in it already because it was dreadful. The noise was it was terrible mm. into that. So 
he, he blessed the house and he was, and strange to say, after that, he was never the same man after. He you'd kind be, of, it was an invalid nearly after. Usually turned whatever. grey. It, 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 it turned grey and everything. So it really took his, that's right. Name. They really turned. That's one of turn. the effects that Father, had Father the priest. Tierney. That Father Tierney was a parish priest in Yeah, I knew Father John Tierney. Did you remember? I was only showing him, so yeah. And she'd follow Oh, did you ever hear of the four Jean Mara? <coughs> well, wait till I tell you now. Um, it happened to myself. There's different tellings of it up here in Mayo than at home. But in, it's, it's supposed to be, it's a, it's a thing in the field. You can... Now, I could see the light of my own house and their house, but I still couldn't get to the style where I wanted to get out. Yeah. I was going round, and I'd be in that corner and that corner. But I had always heard that if I turned whatever I had on me inside out, but once I had turned inside out, I you found get the it. style, <laughs> no problem. But that is true. I heard that fellow being lost in a field all right, in a heavy fog. He could never get out of it. He had to wait till morning. He was walking around all night in it. I know the man that told that story may be talking through either. We have an you know. I know a man that was, he was after, he was after hairs, catching hairs. And he was standing at this gate, and the, and the next thing he, he felt a, 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 like a hand on his shoulder. Yeah. And he said, it definitely happened. Well, so it was so, so, so in, so, so in a graveyard, he was. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, some fella coming back, he wanted to have a talk yeah. to him. And then he, he, he cut the hair, put the hair in, in the bag, and about ten minutes after, there was, there was no hair in the bag. He <laughs> got from the hair at all. <laughs> That's why he made the one. <laughs> to some of the boys? Yeah, yeah. They're coming up over the grave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he was bagging them. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that was my father. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, that happened all yeah. <laughs> And another thing, when they put down a clutch of eggs... That's right. If they came thunder, they'd... They'd be no they'd bolted. They'd be they said, they they or they said they call And if there was any noise, and I can't say a hammer was any kind yeah. of noise. Drilling. Or drilling or anything. You know, or maybe sometimes a hint, if you put down a clock on him, we call it. And the clock on my daughter, and she, you think she'd be there, and she'd be gone, the eggs would be nugget, they'd be as cold as ice. Yeah, remember? and the luckiest thing in the world was the one that hatched out, said, and came in with her nine chickens. That's right, yeah. It yeah. was awful lucky to Sometimes see her coming from know. under the hedge and you wouldn't know where you she came from. You wouldn't know where she came from and the chickens would follow her follow in. Follow her in yeah. and she'd be delighted. Oh, stop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, years ago, because <coughs> we were all innocent that time, we believed everything. But nowadays they won't. But the men say, there could be, there could be a truth in the, in the stories too. I and the, no, I'm telling you, I never told a lie was life. Yeah. We were, we were always told that the... That the spirits said it would come back. Uh, the place, sometimes now it, it happens. I, I often heard my father saying, all right, that the, he, he often seen people in the, in the room. There'd be no one there at all. And uh, I, I, I often heard my mother saying, to her, she, was, she was 93 when she died. She said she often seen her, the Blessed Virgin, at the bottom of the bed. Yeah. She, now, she believed in her heart. Mm. It was her. It could have, yeah, well, it's some kind of a spirit. It's funny you used to say that now, James. 1946, the 9th of February, I came up to, the, to this hospital over there. It's gone now. Oh, yeah. To see my mother. And that night, I was sleeping in my mother's room, at home. Yeah. And sometime during the night, I was woken up, and I saw a shadow at the bed, at the bottom of the bed. And I was told the next day, when I said to someone, that was a warning. But at 8 o'clock that morning, the door knocked. My mother had died during the night. And that was 1946. And New Year's Day 1947, her mother died. My mother was only 39 when she died. Her mother was 78. So now, that's true. There's nothing wrong about that. One of the things I didn't believe in was people coming back after death. And I happened to be going to the out farm one day, about around 12 o'clock in the day, and I saw this man in the yard, and I stopped and went into him. And when, while I was getting over the gate, he was gone. But he 
I thought he would gone into his house. And I went to the to the house, a couple of the houses in the yard and called his name and he never he didn't appear. So I said to us all, the bloody cod. You know, the man was dead six or eight months at the time. Now when I went out, the, the daughter was with me. When I went out on the road again, the daughter said to me, Daddy, where's the man gone that was sitting on the stone there rubbing the dog? And that's the time I firmly believe that he was there. When we, in, I thought I was seeing things, but you got when she saw him, there must have been some truth in it, you know. So that's what happened. Well, Matt Nail now, Tom Roach, and were two great men with dogs after the rabbits. After the rabbits, years yeah. Ago. Lamp, the lamp. yeah. The and days. they went into a raw up here, that's where Rahing got his name, the raw. And uh, they went in up down to McMuffy's raw, and now all the old fellas said, what are you doing now, don't go into the raw. Yeah. They are two real good dogs. And they'll tell you that, they can tell you that still now. And uh, they went into the raw, and the raw was full of rabbits. Yes. So the dogs wouldn't follow the rabbits in the raw. Yeah. And the next thing the two dogs start to shake and shiver, and the raw on the road, and the two dogs died about a week after. Aye? Yeah. I might tell you that to this day now. Mm. So they, they wouldn't go near her anymore. Now, there was another thing about a, a hawthorn bush. That's right. That you would never cut down a hawthorn bush if it was on its own. And, and you... my grandfather, yeah, in the three corner field, this is a true story now, he went up to the, it was down from the fort, but it was this bush was on its own and he wanted to cut it down. And this little old woman came out from under the bush <laughs> and she said, leave that there. So he didn't heed her anyway and he cut down the bush. And in a week's time, a huge big thistle grew up where the bush was cut. Yeah. And he went to dig it up and the thistle hit him in the eye and blinded oh, him. Oh, God. That's true. Yeah. Of course, if you interfere with anything in them days that had any connection at all to the fairies, you're going to get very sick or you're going to die. Yeah. Simple as that. <laughs> this, man, this man got very sick and... and That's died. what we believed in. Mm. I, I remember a case, my father telling me, about a little nook in a corner of a field and there was unbaptized children, babies buried there. And the farmer that owned it, his people before him, there for years and years, he was told never to touch it. And uh, the story is told then, of course, that this man said he, he wouldn't. He ploughed in on this, this corner a bit. And, and he, he was confined to bed for years because of it. He blamed that for, for going near the, this. But I do know myself that in that particular corner, the soil was black. I know that for a fact because I saw it. Black soil in it. So. Uh, must have been something in it. Maybe there were babies buried there, maybe not. The, the cries of babies are often heard in the same corner. Whether that's the case or not, I don't know. The white thorn bush is supposed to be very un unlucky. It's uh, to touch it even. And if you touch a white thorn bush, you never look for the rest of your days. It can happen, and I suppose that it does happen. We, might, we mightn't think it. But when, when you look back and, and hear stories from people, you, ha you have to believe them. Kind of boy, definitely. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you've heard the truth now. Yeah. And God bless yes. you. I, I, get, I get stiff when I sit down. Oh, I don't be able to get up. That was great. Now, thanks very much.